at Casco Bay, we have two different types of uh, grades. We have the standard space grades, which uh, we've been talking about, and we also have the habits of work grades, which shows all the, like, the habits of the worker, as in if you meet your deadlines, if you're... Um, so it's kind of about your effort, how hard you're working yes. to, to get the grade. Exactly. And I think we purposely separate those things out because they are different things yeah. and that in fact you can meet this some students can meet the standard you get on and you're riding the bike why should I make you sit through 75 hours of of little drills around bicycle riding if you already know how to ride the bike mm -hmm. you know so we're really reporting out on the work itself on that skill on that content right what you've achieved and then if you put in the habits of work if you are working hard we always provide more time because then it's on us then it's it's our job to teach you if you're doing your job, then we need more time together to get you there. Last trimester, I got all, uh, for my habits of work, I got, well, for my six classes, I got five threes, and I got one two, and the two was because I, well, it's because I wasn't studying, and I wasn't, like, doing my homework on time, and that's the reason why, mm -hmm. but all my other classes I was, and you could see that by the grade that was shown. So would you say generally your habits of work grade correlate with your standard space grades? Definitely. Like if you're working harder, you're doing better in the classes, yep. generally? And, that, and that's a lesson that we want to drill home to kids about a thousand times a day. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a clear correlation. Yeah. And in the traditional system, those are blended. So if a kid gets an 83, you don't know. They have an 83 because they know this stuff, kind of well but aren't trying very hard or are they trying incredibly hard and they don't know the stuff or they know all the stuff and they're a total slacker because it just blends those and and to us both grades are really equally important and need to be separated out. Getting a three and how helps a lot in the standard space grades because I'm allowed to revise on uh, grades like in Ms. McCray's class if I uh, well, if I didn't uh, do so well in my literary analysis then I was allowed to revise it because I had a three in my uh, how? And in fact, at the end of a trimester, if a student has a three of how, mm -hmm. they get an incomplete for their trimester grade. They don't get a one or two because they've earned more time to meet those standards. Mm -hmm. If they had a two of how, mm -hmm. then they get a two on their report on their trimester report card because their habits of work have not earned them additional time. It certainly seems to me that th these students here are working way harder than I ever remember working in high school. And I feel like these guys are going to be fine in college. I mean, my daughter's just going to be going to college next year. She probably will have a less traumatic freshman year than I had trying to learn how to learn because she's got those skills from, from being here. We know that the colleges have uh, been open to the system and have accepted our kids um, in schools from community colleges to the most elite colleges around. As in, in, in not because of our reporting system, but because of the work, the quality of the work the kids are doing and the insistence that we have that if, if a kid has met the standards, that means they know the stuff. And, uh, and we think that that has earned some respect for our kids in the, in the admissions process. I'd say a tangible benefit for doing having this grading system um, would be that it makes us smarter and uh, makes us more responsible even because we're getting our work done on time. We're getting higher grades because we know each and every subject well enough to pass with a good grade. I'm just going to say I really love the relevance of it for the kids and, and for us as parents. We get to see what it is that she's learning and why she's learning it, and, and that's been just really effective for us. Now, I really do think that the whole system, ever since you first launched us on this journey, um, it's transformed my teaching because I feel like I know what it is that I'm trying to teach, and that's trickled down. Once that's clear that I have to figure that out, and it was hard to figure it out. Mm. And I had to figure out what is it I'm trying to teach. And now that trickles down to every single step, what do I need to do to get kids there? And I've had to be super meticulous about each step that I have to take and have them join me in those steps to get every kid there. And I, you know, I've always been, my strength has been in I